assalamu alaikum hello students today we have to solve problem number 2.8 of electrodynamics fourth edition by david j griffiths in this problem we have been asked to find electric field due to a uniformly charged sphere having uniform volume charge density rho and we have to find electric field at some of its interior points and at some of its exterior points now firstly i'm going to calculate electric field at some exterior point and that exterior point is named as p and the distance of this exterior point from the center of the sphere is taken as z now let's see how can we calculate our required electric field for this purpose we will divide this complete sphere into concentric shells that means all the shells will have same center at this point then we will calculate electric field at this point due to one of those shells and finally we will integrate that electric field across our complete sphere to get our required electric field at this point now let's see one of those concentric shells so let me draw here one of those shells so this is the shell this is one of those shells and we have to calculate electric field due to this shell at point p now in our previous problem in problem number 2.7 we calculated the electric field due to a uniformly charged shell uh, at some exterior point and we saw there that uh, a uniformly charged shell always uh, a uniformly charged shell does not produce any field in its interior point but uh, at exterior point it produces the electric field like a point charge and that electric uh, and that electric field for some exterior points we calculated was k q divided by z square that q was the amount of the charge contained in that uniformly charged shell and z was the distance from the center of that shell to our point in question now let's modify this expression for electric field of our this shell uh, and this shell definitely is uh, our charge element here that's why electric field at this point p due to this charge element due to this shell will be denoted by d e and that will be equal to k d q divided by z square k d q divided by z square because uh, in that case in problem number 2.7 that z this z was the distance from the center of shell to point in question and here in this case this is the center of our this shell and the distance from this center to our point is also taken as z that's why this z has been written here as it is now let's see what will be the electric field due to this complete shell at this point p for this purpose we will have to integrate this expression if i integrate this expression uh, then i get the electric field e due to complete sphere and that will be equal to k z square integral of d q here k and z square both both are constants so are taken outside the integral while this integral wh what does this integral tells us this integral gives the total charge of all those concentric shells in which our sphere has been divided so if i add all the charges of all the concentric shells then i will get the total charge of sphere and that total charge of sphere has been denoted by q so this integral will be equal to q this integral will be equal to q so in the next step i replace that integral by q now this is the electric field at external point p due to our complete sphere 
now once again it's pretty clear that our sphere is behaving like a point charge for exterior point because this expression is uh, the expression of electric field for a point charge that means our sphere our sphere is behaving like a point charge for this point so it became clear now that a uniformly charged sphere will always behave like a point charge for all the exterior points now let's calculate the electric field at some interior point let's say we are calculating let me draw figure first okay now let's calculate electric field at this interior point q at a distance z from the center of our sphere while the radius of sphere is capital r now how can we calculate electric field at this point q for this purpose i have drawn here a spherical shell passing through this point q while the amount of the charge contained by this shell and by its interior is named as q dash while the rest of the charge of the sphere residing in this portion in this portion outside this out, outside the shell is q minus q dash because this q is the total charge contained by our complete sphere now what will be electric field at this point q definitely electric field at our point q will be equal to electric field due to electric field due to q dash charge electric field due to q dash charge plus electric field due to due to q minus q dash charge q minus q dash charge but but we know that this electric field due to q minus q dash charge will be zero how do we know that we calculated in our previous problem 2.7 that electric field in the interior of a uniformly charged shell is always zero now here in this case this point q is actually behaving like an interior point with respect to this complete charge q minus q dash that's why this charge q minus q dash will make no contribution to net electric field at this point q so the so the whole of the field at this point q will be due to this charge q dash because this point q is behaving like exterior point with respect to all of this charge q dash okay so in the next case i can write here k q dash divided by z square because uh, we we have just calculated in our previous case in the same problem that electric field due to a uh, that electric field due to a sphere for some exterior point is like a point charge and that will be k q dash by z square now here q dash q dash is the amount of the charge with respect to which our this point q is behaving like an external point okay and z what is z z is z is the distance of our point in question from center of the sphere and that distance is taken as z but we have a problem here that this q dash is an unknown quantity so we will have to calculate it now let's see how can we calculate it let's say this is equation number 1 now it's pretty clear that the ratio of q dash to q will be equal to what will be equal to the ratio of their respective volumes now what is the respective volume of q dash it's clear that q dash is contained in this volume in the volume of the shell and the volume of the shell will be equal to 4 by 3 pi multiply cube of radius of shell what is the radius of shell radius of shell is taken as z so it will be cube of z divided by and what is this q charge this q charge is contained by the volume of the complete shell uh, sorry uh, by the complete sphere 
and the volume of the complete sphere will be equal to 4 by 3 pi into cube of radius of sphere and what is the radius of sphere that is taken as capital R so cube of R now after simplification it becomes Q Z cube divided by R cube and this is equation number 2 now let's put equation 2 into equation 1 and see what do we get put 2 in 1 we get electric field at point Q equals to k by z square and the value of q dash is q z cube divided by r cube and after simplification we get k q z divided by r cube so this is the amount of the electric field at this interior point q and if we write this electric field into in vectorial form we get electric field at point q equals to k q z divided by r cube and definitely we will need here a unit vector z cap unit vector z cap because we are well aware that electric field at this point q is along z direction is along in this direction in z direction okay so we will use unit vector z cap and uh, if I make substitution for that unit vector I'll get what this unit vector can be written as vector over its magnitude and uh, after a very small simpl simplification we get k q by r cube into vector z so this is the electric field for interior point q due to this complete sphere Hope it's clear. Next time, we will see problem number 2.9. Goodbye.